she's str- oh my gosh there's literally tears running down her face right now i that stopped me in my tracks i wasn't Seriously. like because it was this is a heartbreaking song the way that it's being played though is playful to me and it was yeah. like but she is she's wearing this song on her sleeves like i feel bad for even enjoying it as much as i was enjoying oh, it early on that breaks i was my smiling heart. the whole time and yeah it just broke my heart when i saw that Ah, and it's live. Heck yes. It's like singing. soaking it up yes. and singing with you. It's just, it's such a cool thing. Oh, her voice is amazing. It really is. It really is. It's got that awesome rasp to it. I just oh. love that. That's so cool. We haven't reacted to anything in over a week. And this is like a, it, oh, I'm so excited. It's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, it is, is what it is. It is. It is. so far oh dude there's so many different parts that i wanted to pause and like replay that part already yeah oh my gosh <laughs> especially that part yeah i love when Seriously. she does that
she's str- oh my gosh there's literally tears running down her face right now i that stopped me in my tracks i wasn't Seriously. like because it was this is a heartbreaking song the way that it's being played though is playful to me and it was yeah. like but she is she's wearing this song on her sleeves like i feel bad for even enjoying it as much as i was enjoying oh, it early on that breaks i was my smiling heart. the whole time and yeah it just broke my heart when i saw that that was so cool okay i want to go back for that the freaking audience sung the last part i love that She's so heartbroken. Oh, that was so hard for her to sing. Oh my gosh. Somebody tell us the story behind that because, you know, out of songs, they're usually written out of a personal place. And if that song was written for something that's personal to her, and then she still performed it through the tears. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful though. Yeah, that was beautiful and it was heartbreaking. Oh, that did break my heart. It was like, I was like, listening and then it was playful and then it just you see her tears and then you hear that that last heartbreaking note of the when she goes high yeah oh that was was super vibey and like i was loving it i was super into it Mm -hmm. i was smiling the whole time and then i saw the tears running down and i was just like my jaw just dropped i was just like oh i didn't expect that yeah no it takes you away like it takes you away and then you're like oh my gosh i you're felt heartbroken. guilty for smiling at all like mm-hmm. uh, i can't I, wait to re-listen to it now with that that context I knowing do. that she cries at the end it gave me such good vibes because it reminded me of when we first started dating also when i was younger and li- used to listen to no doubt a lot um it's got that vibe to it it's got that I don't even know what kind of genre that music is, forgive me, but I used to listen to it all the time and I, I freaking love it. I don't know what you would call it now. There's so many yeah. different genres, but uh, she was very pinup girl. I love the whole scene. The vibe was very 50s. The lamps, that was so awesome. The the suits that they were wearing, super cool. I love that whole vibe and the and the way that they were playing the music. It was It was very 50s. But like also that type of music, like it just reminded me of No Doubt. That's all I could see is old Gwen Stefani on the stage with her hair up like that. That That was awesome, actually. That's why I was digging it so much. It was just such a cool vibe. It just brought me back to when I used to listen to No Doubt. And um, it was a band called Pepper. Do you remember Pepper? I remember Pepper, yes. Pepper. We used to listen to Pepper. I was going to say, how does this song remind you of our relationship? Yeah, when we Uh, used to listen to that. I never heard you like that. (laughs) No. And then we went to the Sublime cover band. Uh, or maybe it was the Bad rest of the fish. sublime. Yeah, Bad Fish. We went to go see Bad Fish. It just reminded me of that. It was super cool. Vibes. Brought it back was. memories. It was. Uh, thank you to our friend, Romir Lopez. <laughs> he's been with us since the beginning. Yes. He's intro- introduced us to so many great artists. You have. You have. So everyone, if you like this reaction, let us know down in the comments below mm-hmm. and give Mr. Romir some love. Yeah, a little shout out with some hearts, you know, he deserves it. And if you want to be the next Romir, leaving us some awesome music to react to, leave it down below. It's Mm -hmm. easy. Just comment down below. Let us know what we should react to next. Mm -hmm. And And if you have a specific specific link, that really does help. That way we know exactly what you want us to see. We can just click on it, save it. We're really Mm -hmm. bad at finding the proper one. We really are. We're like, (laughs) react to this song. And then we react. They're like, that was not the right version. Yeah, exactly. We get it wrong. We're sorry. A lot. We do get it wrong a lot. We would be nothing without our community. So Mm -hmm. thank you. Yes, thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you, Romare. Thank you very much for that. I hope you enjoyed the reaction to that, Mm -hmm. friend. It was for you. It was for you. (laughs) And yeah, we can't wait to see more from this artist. Uh And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Peace.